Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. What is Manoj Work? Today's topic is perpendicular distance between a point and a line. For that, I need actually a line, and I want to find the distance between this line and a point is here. For example, the point is here A, and the points have the coordinates x1 and y1. And the perpendicular distance means the angle between this point and this line. It means this point and this line when I draw a like line because I want to find this distance. So this should be angle will be always 90 degree. And the equation of this line, I can suppose this is AX plus BY plus C equals to zero. So now, first of all, I'm just going to discuss what's the formula, how to find the distance, the perpendicular distance between a line and a point. So formula is what? Like very simple. What we have to do, the distance is always positive. For that purpose, I'm just drawing this modulus means, I will explain how, what do you mean by this? The formula is A x1 multiply B multiply by y1 plus C in modulus. This modulus means if your answer is coming negative or positive, it will remain positive. Always positive answer because we are finding the distance. Divided by under root a squared plus b squared. This topic is completely a different topic in perpendicular, like in coordinate geometry. So I'm just going to discuss only the perpendicular distance between a point with a point in a line with one, two questions from exercise 7.6. Let's see, I want to apply this formula. So, question number nine. In this question number nine, as I told you that if you want to do the first part, 4, 1, 4, 1 is basically x1 and y1. And 3x minus 4y plus 2 equal to 0 is e like is the same as ax plus by plus c equal to 0. You can see I have shown in the like explanation, like here, the equation is here, the equation is here, and the point is here. So let's start to put the value in the formula. So the formula is distance is equals to, I'm writing here, distance is equals to in the modulus a x1 plus b x2 plus c divided by under root a square plus b square. So in this you can see a is equal to 3. I'm writing here a is equal to 3, b is equal to b is equal to minus 4, c equals to 2, and the coordinates are x1, y1. x1 is 4 and y1 is 1. So when we have these values, we can substitute this value here. So distance is equals to in the modulus a is 3 and x1 is 4. So 3 into 4, I can use this one. 3 into 4 plus b is minus 4, b x2 minus 4 into 1. Sorry, this is not, this is sorry, this is y1. So y1 is 1 and c is 2 and we can apply the modulus here and divide it by under root a squared and b squared. a is 3 squared in bracket and plus 4 is also in bracket because 4 is negative. Now just we need to simplify and get the answer. There is no problem now. Distance between a point and a line is 3, 4 times is 12. This means answer should be positive. 4 times 1 is minus 4 and plus 2 divided by 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. So 9 plus 16 is coming under root 25. So under root 25 means your answer is coming 5 in the denominator. 12 plus 2 is 14 minus uh, 4 is 10 is already positive. So we don't need this sign. So answer is coming 2 and we write units because the distance we have done the first part. I would like to do one of the other part, for example, part uh, C only. Uh, X1 is 4, Y1 is minus 3, 
A is two. I'm doing the C part. B is minus one. C is five. Just we need to put the value in the equation. D is equals to in the modulus A x one. A x one means two times four plus B is minus one times uh, minus three. And C is five. In the modulus, because when your answer is coming positive or negative, it will remain positive. This is 2 square and plus 1 square. So let's see. This is coming 8 plus 3 plus 5 in the modulus divided by under root. 2 square is 4 plus 1 is 5. The answer should be positive. We have decided. So is coming 13 and it's coming 16. Here's 16 divided by under root 5. Okay, this is the right answer, but normally we do not write the radical or the under root in the denominator. So what we do, we do one step as we have done in chapter 3. Under root 5, multiply by under root 5. And when you write under root 5, this under root 5, under root 5 will remain only 5 in the denominator. And in numerator, you have 16 under root 5. And that's we have done units. So this is the distance. So if you want to check the answer of this part, this is 9. Yeah, we have done right. This is here 16 under root 5 upon 5, and a part is 2. So we have done. So question number 10 calculate the perpendicular distance. Once again, the perpendicular distance from this point and the line joining this. It means when we draw a diagram, is very like this is a point. Uh, like two points are there, uh, two points A and B. A and B, A is 4, 1, and B is 8, 3. And we need, we have a point here, for example, this point is uh, point minus 1 and 4. So when we like join this point here, this is a perpendicular distance, so it's always 90 degree. So this is 90 degree and we need to find this distance. So what we need, we need the equation of this line. If you know the equation of AB, then we can use the same formula. So what is the equation? Uh, gradient is 3 minus 1 divided by 8 minus 4 is 2 upon uh, 4 is 1 upon 2. So, and we can find the equation y minus y1 is like use this coordinate 1 is equals to 1 upon 2 x minus 4. And when we multiply, it's coming 2y minus 2 is equals to x minus 4. When we arrange, it's coming uh, x should be positive x minus 2y. I have shifting all the things right hand side. And minus 2 will this plus 2 is minus 2 equal to 0. So now, in x minus 2, y minus 2 is the equation and the coordinates are 1 and 4. So, a is 1, b is minus 2, c is minus 2, and x1 is minus 4, x and y1 is 4. You can find the distance now for the value. A, x, so formula is 1 into minus 1 plus b into x y 1 b is minus 2 into 4 and c is only minus 2 so you can write minus 2 in the modulus and divided by the distance between these two are a square plus b square means 1 square and minus 2 square now 1 is minus 1 is minus 8 is minus 2 divided by 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4 is 5. This is in modulus. Answer is coming negative first. 9 minus 11. So we will make plus 11 and under root 5. When you want to write this in without under root in the denominator, multiply and divided by this. And that's coming 11 under root 5 divided by only 5 units. And we have done question number 10. Let me check the answer. Of question number 10 is coming. Yes, absolutely right. So this was a topic between like how we can find the distance between a point and a line and we have done it. I hope this video is useful for you. Next topic will be definitely about the distance between two perpendicular lines, two parallel lines. So I hope this you like my video. Thank you so much and have a nice day.